Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Big Guy Appetite, also known as BGA Vlogs. And today, by popular request, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So if y'all want to see the products I use and see this transformation from Shrek to Fiona, then keep watching. All right, you guys. La Princess Fiona. Aquí está la Princess Fiona. Okay, I'm literally uh, obsessed with this um, NYX. It's called the uh, the Marshmallow Primer. I think it's like five bucks. It smells so good. I just do two little pumps for my big face. If you have a smaller face, then of course, use less. But when you got a big voluptuous, scrumptious face, like mine, then honey, don't come for me. I like to put it on my lips too. Look at how how red my face is. Okay, so <clears throat> normally when I want like a dewy, more natural um, finish on my foundation, I love to use Maybelline's Dream Radiant Liquid. This is absolutely stunning, and it's it's light to medium coverage. It is buildable. But right now, today I want to go for a more full coverage matte. And this is the makeup that I'm, the foundation I'm obsessed with. It's by NARS. All right, so I know this is going to be all over the place. I'm not really a professional when it comes to doing these get ready with me. I've only done like one or two. But I do want to share some items. I ordered these little um, beauty blender wannabes from amazon i think it was a box of like seven or eight of them for like 10 bucks so i highly recommend it the brand is oxley so yeah i went ahead and damp i dampened this i just ran it under under warm water and then i squeezed it till everything came out so the only thing i don't like about this is that it does not come with a pump i'm like come on we're still, we're living in the dark ages. In the dark ages, honey. So just put a little there. And I just like to start right there. And you can already see. Yeah, trust the process. It does look a little lighter. Um, but then I come in with my bronzer and everything just gets blended up beautifully. Just trust the process. I always like to do a, um, like a shade, maybe a shade or two lighter than my normal skin. Because like I said, I always come and dress it up with the, uh, with the bronzer. And as you can see, look at that. <laughs> Just look at that, it's amazing. I love it. It does not feel cakey. It lasts the whole day. I'm telling you, y'all, I use a lot of product on big, my big old face. Okay. Come over to this side. Don't we all wish we had smaller pores? Man. My pores are like the Grand Canyon. Lord Jesus. Okay, let me shut up. This is a positive video. Wow, on camera looks one or two shades lighter. My ass. This looks like freaking 10 shades lighter, but I promise. I promise you guys, this is all going to work out. Trust the process, baby. Trust the process. I don't really use a lot of like, like a highlighter. So by going light, a little lighter, um, I get to skip that step. I get to skip that step and move right into um, just bronzing. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. I love this formula. I love it, I love it, I love it. And the fact that I use it with a damp sponge, I just feel like it blends 
so effortlessly. Just bounce, bounce, bounce. So now that we got our face found um, foundationed, is that even a word? <laughs> Covered, painted. <laughs> I like to come in with, I love this by one size, Patrick Star. It's a little um, powder puff. And I like to come in with the setting powder by Airspun. There we go. So, it's time to bake It's time to be like Martha Stewart. And we got to bake, bake, bake. You know what? I do like to put a little bit of um, concealer under my eyes. Just a little bit because I have some dark circles right here. From all the nights on VR. <laughs> Just brighten up this under eye. Okay, we good. And I just like to put the pressed powder there. Actually all over my face, but I like to start with the eyes. Get those suckers baked. And then I come in. Just to mattify, mattify it even more. Some people are probably like cringing, like, no, don't put it all over your face. Shut up. You're not my mom. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that cook for a little bit and we'll be right back. Okay, we bet. It's been a couple of minutes, maybe like three minutes. So I just like to just dust it off. This, this, this. Again, you guys, trust the process. I, I'm so hungry. I'm literally about to uh, film in a little bit. So, y'all better stay tuned for that on my second channel, my main channel, Big Eye Appetite. Okay. So, now that we are painted up, let's go in with the bronzer. Oh, let me share. Sorry. So, my favorite bronzer. I used to use this one, uh, NYX Matte Bronzer in the darkest shade they have, Deep Tan. Um, this one's only $5. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have like a smell or anything. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, but now I'm obsessed with this one from Too Faced. The chocolate. This one is uh, dark chocolate. It's also their darkest color. Honey. And then just an angled brush. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like to get all up in the temples, in my hairline. We're just carving out this face, baby. Carve it. Because we don't... We don't want to look too light. Summer is upon us. So we don't want to look like vampires. Okay. And you can already see it coming together. Some of you may not know, but I used to do freelance makeup back in the day just for friends and family and, you know, word of mouth. Uh, one of my biggest clients I met at my cousin's gynecologist's office. 
she was the nurse. And of course, you know me, I came in all painted. And she was like, oh my God, you are freaking beautiful. And uh, she's like, do you do makeup like for hire? And I was like, yeah, I could. I normally just do it for friends and family. And she's like, oh, okay. So she hired me for a, a, a night out, just a girl's night out. I went to her house, honey. She pulled out all the stops. She had mimosas and um, like hors d'oeuvres and stuff. Honey, I was like, what? This was like my first non-friend or family like client, you know? So I felt all fancy. And then from there, she just started recommending me to people. I did a quinceanera for her, 15 girls, plus the mom, the tia, and her. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was fun. Those days were fun. I wish I could go back and do it all over again. You know what I mean? Uh, once I'm bronzed, I just like to come in with my blending brush and just blend it all in. Just so it's not so harsh or any harsh lines. Just look a little more natural. You see that? You see how it's blending and coming together? Yes, queen. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So next, I'm gonna move on to the infamous Big Guy Appetite Eyebrows. Let me show you what I use and how I do, what I do, okay? All right, <laughs> that was ugly. Anyway, I was obsessed for years with the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. However, I was introduced to a cheaper dupe because that one is, I think, like $27, $25, something like that. This one is only $8. And it's the Sephora brand. It comes with a little spoolie on one end. And then the micro little uh, brow pencil. So I just kind of like to start with the bottom and trace my shape. I'm just literally following my, excuse me, my own brow shape. And then on the top as well. And then here we come in with that arch. That arch. And just fill that in. And I like to extend this eyebrow baby. Extend it sharp. The little sharp. Okay. So we got the shape. I'm gonna do the same to the other side and I'll be right back. All right, honey. Now remember, they're sisters, not twins. I don't, I, I don't know. They look a little uneven to me, but y'all might see different. Okay, so, so you know what? I, I, normally, well, let me just do a powder brow since I'm going with the matte, a more like mattified look. Um, I like to use like an eyeshadow. So, oh, there goes my pencil. So I just come in with the dark color to match my brows and I just kind of like to fill it in. Fill it in. Let me know down below, any of these products that I'm using, have you guys used? Do you like them? Do you recommend them? I recommend them. I love these items. These are my everyday, like, when I do makeup. These are my items. Just comb it out to blend it. All right, we already a hot mess, baby. Hot mess express, but that's all right. We'll survive. Okay. 
All right, so now that we got the eyebrows, next I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelashes. My lips is my favorite part of my makeup routine because the product that I use just really voluptuates the lips, makes it look super juicy, like you just got your lips done without having to pay the price. You know what I mean? So the lips are for last. I'm gonna work on my eyes right now, eyelashes. You guys, I'm super excited. And because of that, I missed a vital step. My nose contour. Let me know if any of y'all were screaming at me like, Nate, your nose contour. Okay, same angled brush. I just like to use the tip. Oh my God, how can I forget? We gotta carve out this Ernie and Bert nose. <laughs> oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Dios mío, te digo. Okay. I like to use a couple brushes on my nose. Again, trust the process. This I know it's really harsh looking right now. But you always want to work your nose contour into your eyebrow into the top of your eyebrow. Okay. All right, so for a little more definition, I like to come in with a uh, fluffier brush and just really define the line. You see, we're already carving and minimizing. Again, we're gonna blend this out so it's not gonna be as harsh as it's, as it's appearing. Okay. So once you got the width, I also, just to create like a little button nose effect, I like to kinda Just do that little line right there, you see that? Some people might like it, some don't, I do. That's just like my little signature, little look. Okay, so now that we have the nose contour, let's go ahead and blend it out. Just blend, blend, blend. We don't want any harsh lines. Blending is key, you see? Voila, we got it. So now we're gonna highlight. I like to use this, this is from Target. It's the Makeup Obsession Mega Honey Highlighter. I don't use highlighter anywhere other than my nose. So I like to get like a little tiny angled brush. Just pick up some product. And then, I like to very thinly highlight the bridge of my nose. And then I stop right where that line is created. And then where's my other one? And then I come in with this brush here. And then I just do that right in the center. And again, we're gonna blend this out. Just so it's not so harsh, you see that? Okay, so blend it out. <clears throat> okay. All right, we're good, we're good. We're moving along, we're moving along. Move along, move along. Da, 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 da. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong brush. Okay, there we go. So, 
You guys, one of my, not one of my favorite, this is my only favorite mascara. It is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys, the best mascara that I have ever used in my life. Honey, this mascara gives me life. And I'm gonna do a little close up, that way you guys can kind of see. Don't mind the faces I'm about to make. And I'm gonna show you side by side the difference. Oh my God, this mascara is amazing. This literally makes your eyebrows, eyebrows, why do I keep saying eyebrows? Eyelashes so long and thick without creating that like tarantula look. I'm hung up on you. Okay. All right, that's just, you know, one coat, pretty much. Maybe two, because I did double dip. All right, I, I say three coats. What do you think of that? All right, I'm gonna do the other one and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the final look for the eyelashes. I am literally, literally obsessed. I don't know if the camera's even doing this justice. Cause in person, baby, oof, oof. All right, so next, I recently started doing this. Um, this is NYX Cosmetics, but I just like to come in with a little bit of black eyeliner in my waterline. I just feel like it really makes the eyes pop, especially because I have crystal blue eyes. It makes the eyes pop. Like I said, just in the waterline, you see that? It like defines the eyes. Hello. Hello, Gerardo. Anyway, now we have reached the portion of the video that I am most excited about. And I'm gonna share with you my ultimate favorite, favorite lip pencil. Anytime I do a video where I have my makeup done, whether it be a live, a video, da da dee, da 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 do do da. Number one question is, what's your lip combo? What is your lip product? What are you wearing? Your lips look fantastic. Da 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 dee, da 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 da. Honey, today I am going to expose what I use and I highly recommend you get your ass up and go get it. It is by Urban Decay. 
So it is the creamy uh, lip pencil. It's 24 seven glide on lip pencil. This one is in the color Naked 2. And I am just, you guys, obsessed. And you are about to see why. It's so creamy. It goes on like a matte lipstick. And, oh my God, I think it's like 20 something dollars. $25, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just order it because I love it. So anyway, as you can see the lips before. Da 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 dee da da da. <laughs> Where, <laughs> what is with this da da dee da da da? Okay, so I slightly like to overline my lips just a little to create like a little more volume. Okay, let me flip it. Oi, I got some meal. Hold on, let me get this a little closer. I can't see myself. Oh, oh, baby, that's too close. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, are we seeing that? Mm. Huh? Concentration, concentration. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the lips lined, do you see what I'm talking about? Mm. Honey, I could even wear it just like this. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so then I like to fill in the lip now. Again, you guys can use a lip gloss over this. You can use a, a lipstick, a lighter lipstick combo. I don't, I just keep it like this. Damn, my lips are so dry and crusty. I need to use my sugar sugar scrub. Okay. And then, like I said, it is so creamy. This lip pencil. None compare. There's nothing on the market that I have used that comes even close to the creaminess and the matteness. Oh, it's just amazing. Now do you see what I mean by it gives you that voluptuous look? Hi, baby. What's that? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, am I done? Yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. You guys, rookie mistake. I'm telling you, I'm not a profesh anymore. Just kidding. No, I forgot to set my face and share this product with you guys. Um, again, all the products I use today, I'm not sponsored, obviously. I just share what I love and what I like. Um, this is Pore, the Porefessional Super Setter. I love it, it comes out very like misty. So just spray the face. This literally, whew, 
maybe. This makes my face, the makeup stay all day long, honey. And it just makes the makeup set and look a little more natural, you know what I mean? So anyway, again, set with professional, super setter. I love it. Okay, just wanted to come in and say that. You guys, so this concludes my get ready with me. This is what I do when I paint my face, when I beat the face. Like I said, when I want a more normal, not normal, but light look, I go with, you know, something like this, like the Maybelline uh, Radiant Liquid. Um, but again, today I wanted that full coverage, mannequin, oh, glam doll, hers a Barbie doll kind of look, you know what I mean? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, I'm not by any means a MUA or anything like that professionally. I do makeup because I love it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel confident and um, just, you know, whatever. Anyway, I encourage you guys to play around with makeup, have fun, still be yourself, but, you know, just have fun with it. Anyway, um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. If you're new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.